Right, here's another one to graph. So, now this one looks different than the previous one. Okay, this one is not written um, in y equals format. So, in other words, it's not written. Oh, I've still got the straight line here. Uh, right, it's not written as y equals, is it? Can you see that? Okay, it's not written as y equals. Now, there's two ways of actually graphing these questions when the x and y is on the same side and the numbers on the other. You can change it to the y equals format, and in some ways, I think that's what the question said. If this just follows on from question one and you have to do it by the slope and intercept, then this is what you've got to do. You've got to rearrange that equation to get to y equals. Now, I'll show you another way, all right, which I'm, I'm quite happy for you to do because it's a good way of doing it. But first of all, we need to change that 3x plus 4y equal 12 to y equals so we can see what the slope is and the y intercept like we graphed the previous question. So, here we go. Here it is. Here's 3x plus 4y equals 12. How do I get the y by itself? Okay, right, what I need to do is I need to get rid of this 3x. It's a positive 3x, so subtract it. Okay, I'm going to take a 3x from both sides. So 4y will equal, okay, again, I'm taking 3x away from this side. All right, so I'm taking away 3x from both sides. It's gone from the left, but I now have an in order. We always write the x first and the number second. I have negative 3x. And I've still got the 12, and that, of course, is plus 12, okay? I can't actually take, do 12 take away 3x. They're two different things, all right? I can do 12 take away 3, but not 12 take away 3x. That's what I've got right now, okay? So I just took away the 3x. You then divide by the 4 next to the y. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. And nicely divide by 4. Everything divided by 4, okay? So, we're left with y equals, right, see what's going on now, negative 3 fourths x, okay, can you see that right there, negative 3 fourths x, plus, what's 12 divided by 4, 3, okay, so this is now the slope intercept form of the graph, okay, the equation, right, um, so now, that's what I now have, so I'm going to go back, the previous page, y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 3, okay? So remember what this was? Negative 3 fourths x plus 3, okay? So it's not written like that anymore, okay? We call that one the standard form, by the way, the other one, okay, the, that one. And then over here, we're back to uh, the slope intercept form. So again, remember, here we go. What's the intercept? The y-intercept is 3. We really need to write that as 0, 3, okay? All right, that's what the proper notation for the y-intercept. But anyway, it's just here, right there, okay? We 1, 2, 3. Now then, here we go. Because I've got a negative slope, so let's be aware of this. The previous equation had a positive slope, so I went up the y and along the x. Now I'm going to go down the y and along the x, all right? So be careful of this one, okay? I'm going to go down 3, okay? That's the numerator, because it's negative, okay? Down 3, so a 1, 2, 3 to here, the 0, 0 point. And then I still go that way. Again, I'm sorry about this, folks, but along the x-axis. I never know which one I'm doing when I'm pointing at the camera. But positive direction, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? So remember... The 3 was the y direction, I went down, 4 is the x direction, I went to the right. And the way to remember it is, always go, um, if it's positive, go up and to the right. All right. If it's negative, go down and to the right. Don't go to the left, all right? So again, positive, go up and to the right, negative, go down and to the right, okay? And you've got to kind of remember as well that when I actually do this, look, uh, let's have a quick look at this. Positive slopes go up from left to right, okay? Positive slopes. Negative slopes go down from left to right. All right, so try and remember that one. Just when you look at it, think: Is that does that look right? Okay. So, um, and I don't know if we still have the previous question up there, do we? We do. Remember? Okay, look at that. See that positive four thirds. That was the question. That's why it's going up from left to right. This one is going down from left to right because it's a negative slope. Okay, and I, cause, because of what I've got. Right. So let's look at this. Um, so let's just get back up a bit. So, again, I'm going to grab my straight line tool, the software, and grab that and go, wee. Now, down three over four. I can keep going down three again and over four. Is that right? Okay, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got a nice straight line, all right? And it's across the y axis at three and the x axis at four. 
So there we go, okay? Now that's me just doing it by the uh, slope and y-intercept method, okay? Uh, I had to change it. A lot of work, I had to change that 3x plus 4y equals to 12, all that work, and I had to make it look like that, like question one, okay? But I will, in another video, which will follow on from this, I'll show you a much quicker, easy way to do that.